I'm always on Craigslist or I'm always on the internet looking at commercial property or looking at locations locally that are available that aren't available and all of a sudden this location over in Carmichael used to be a dry cleaner and then it was remodeled to be a coffee shop for about six months and they did okay but but they didn't understand the product and I totally understand and so I I figured hey man this is a good good opportunity it's it's in sort of downtown Kennewick sort of East Kennewick over there um, by Kennewick High School on Carmichael Road. It's not a place where a lot of companies go in and pour a lot of money into. You know, they're all into like South Richland or South Kennewick or, you know, um, West Kennewick over there by the mall area or Road 68. You know, that's where everybody's going with business, right? But I thought, hey, this area, these people in East Kennewick, they deserve high level stuff. They deserve a great cup of coffee. And so I said, hey, I'm gonna get this location, man. We're gonna pour a lot of money into it. And what we do is we, we reinvest almost everything that we make back into the company. And that's what we did. We actually did, we um, pretty much gutted out that whole building and, and just redid the entire thing to bring what I know of as great coffee to the people of East Kennewick. And we, we just opened that location. It was uh, August of 2016. And it did amazing. Again, probably by far, seriously, the best opening we have ever had. The support of Tri-Cities was unbelievably satisfying, unbelievably fantastic. You know, just so much love being poured in to roasters and so much love from roasters being poured out to the people. And um, I was, again, so humbled by the honor to actually be given the trust and respect as a company to actually serve you Tri-Cities people. I'm truly humbled by that and honored to actually be in this position and I take it with a lot of humility. I am truly thankful from the bottom of my heart and I know the baristas and the managers and the people that have been on staff with me since the early days are thankful, are humbled, um, love you, love each other. Um, that's really the goal at Roasters from the early days until now was how do we create a company and evolve it to a, to a way that brings love to people. And now we're here at Edison Street. This is gonna be Roasters number eight. And we've done all this in the last, you know, seven plus years. It's just, it's, it, it's truly amazing. It's truly a great story. It's a, it's a story of, of struggle and, and, and victory. A story of how to learn from the bottom and work your way up. How to not be afraid to take risks and to bring high quality product to the people of Trace Cities to bring a lot of love and to put love and passion into our company and into our brand so the people that are part of it can actually be rewarded and loved and, and, and served the way that they should be, the way that you deserve it, the way that you deserve to be served and you deserve a good product. You know, it's not every day that you get to open up a, a coffee shop the way that we do. You know, I'm really excited for this. I think we have enough room for maybe uh, two or three more locations in Tri-Cities. But like I said too, uh, Walla Walla, we're gonna be opening it up in 2017. And then in Spokane, very excited for that too. And so uh, thank you guys so much for the love and the support that the Tri-Cities people give us. It is by far the most humbling and the most honorable thing that I could actually do is, is to serve daily the beautiful people of Tri-Cities. So, so much love to you guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you guys next time. Roasters, out.